Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a profile and populate it with measurements using three different techniques. So the first is the quickest way to start drafting using the standard size charts. The second, using predictive measurements. And the third, which is the most accurate of all, is using your own personal bespoke measurements. So if you're new to Pattern Lab, uh, you'll be presented with this screen first of all when you arrive on the Profiles page. It simply gives you an overview of what you can actually do within the Profiles page. So you can create multiple profiles, you can save, you can edit existing ones, you can clone them, delete them, and you can also add them to your own personal library. Also, we give you instructions on how to take your measurements and how to enter them into the chart. And also, we show you a little bit about how to pr uh, use the predictive measurement system, which is very much a beta um, function on our site. We're still improving this, but it's, it's interesting and fun to play with. Once you've created your profile, you can then use that profile and select it to then draft any of the variety of blocks that we have on our site. We take measurements from the entirety of the body. So this wouldn't just work for the basic bodice block. It would work for trousers, skirts, corsets, whatever. You name it, it'll, it'll work for that for that particular block. So first of all you just want to simply close this little pop-up here and you're presented with the manage your profiles page. If you want to get back to that pop-up simply click the uh, blue icon in the top right corner here which is the help. There we go. Uh, so first of all we're going to create a new profile using the standard measurement charts. As I said this is the quickest way to start drafting your blocks. If you want to just experiment with Pattern Lab then I recommend going for this option. But it does not produce accurately fitting blocks. If you want to find out more about standard size charts and how they operate, then please look at our FAQ, which is in the footer of our website. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new profile. So when you create a new profile, you're presented with this drop-down um, pop-up, which is create a new profile. We're just going to give it a name. Um, it's Good to give a full name, just because if you have, let's say, two Susies or two Lucies, then you're going to have a conflict. So let's just call this Susie Blue 2, or Susie Blue, let's just call it Susie Pink. There we go. Okay, so uh, because I live in the UK, or in London, um, I use centimeters as my unit of choice, measurement unit. Obviously, if you're in, the, in America, you can use inches as well. This is now the time to select this. And uh, next we have year of birth. This is optional, of course. You don't have to enter this information, but it helps us produce a more accurately fitting block if we know the age of the person. So next we have so this. This is how we access our standard size chart. So I'm simply just going to click on this drop-down, and our standard size charts appear. Now this can be a little bit overwhelming to begin with, but uh, it's quite simple. I'm just going to guide you through it. So first of all, at the top here, we have centimeters and inches. This simply means you can display um, these, standard size, these standard size charts in either centimeters or inches. Obviously, I work in centimeters. And so we have mature women and we have young women in these two tabs. Okay? Now, the mature woman has a much larger size range. We go from a UK 4 all the way up to a UK size 24. So, and then we have young women, which is from a size 4 up to a 14. So <clears throat> if you're familiar with online shopping and obviously department stores, you will have a good idea of what your standard size is, whether it be an 8 or a 10. Um, be warned though, obviously, every single brand or company out there has their own set of measurements for their specific size. Some people like to make a UK 10 a size 8 because it's, it's flattering to be a UK 8. So I would always recommend using the bust, waist and hip um, as your, when it comes to comparing your sizes with our standard size charts. First of all, let me explain a little bit about the difference between mature women and young women in our system. <clears throat> so, mature women generally have a slightly thicker waist. Um, we have roughly about four centimeters, I believe. Let's have a look. Here we go. If you click on, let's go down, let's close this, sorry. So if you click on which size, you'll be presented with some information about what the young women is all about. So, for example, the waist is minus 4 centimeters and the hips are minus 4 centimeters. This is in comparison to the mature woman size chart. <clears throat> so, if we go to the mature woman, on the waist, it's generally 4 centimeters larger. The circumference, of the circumference of the waist is 4 centimeters larger than the young woman block. But once again, the best option is to check to measure your bust, waist, and hip, and to check it against these measurements here, and find the block that best suits your figure. Once again, these measurements will not create accurately fitting blocks. They are standardized uh, 
measurements. It'll give you a good representation of the products that we produce, but it is not accurate fit. It does not fit accurately. So I'm going to go for a young woman, and I'm going to go for a UK standard size 10 of 88 centimeters bust, 68 centimeters waist, 94 centimeters hip. Let's just get rid of this. Also, if you want to see more measurements than just the bust, waist, and hip, click Show More, and it will give you the full set of measurements that we use to draft our blocks. Okay, so you can compare these with your own as well. Let's just show less. So I'm going to pick a UK standard size 10. When clicking on this, it will then drop into my Create New Profile. Okay, you see, UK standard size 10. Under the profile name, Susie Pink. I'm then going to click Go. And this will now populate our profile, Susie Pink, with a whole array of measurements based on that UK standard size 10. Okay. So, we are now ready to start drafting our block. As I said, this is the quickest, fastest way to start drafting. So to do that, simply just click Draft Block and it will take you into the lab and you can start creating your basic blocks. However, because this is a uh, tutorial on profiles, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go on to our next technique for entering measurements, which is using the predictive measurement system. So I'm simply going to remove this block, delete it. And now we're presented once again, we're going to start again. So let's create new. Let's give it the name once again, Susie Pink. And centimeters, year of birth. Let's scroll down to, where is it, 83. Now this time, I'm not going to click choose a size optional. I'm going to just click go. And what this does is this bypasses the standard measurement system, and it gives us some valuable information or some, some fields that we need to input. So with the predictive measurement system, we need some of your body measurements in order to predict the rest of the body measurements we use to create our blocks. I hope that makes sense. So first of all, um, we need to take the bust, waist, hip, back width, chest, nape to waist, and waist to floor. If you're new to measuring and you've not done it before, then it's very important that you take a look at this little help icon here underneath each field. You have the bus measurement and it gives you specific instructions on how to take that bus measurement with a diagram to explain the process. As I said, each one of these uh, has its own individual drop down. Oops, hello, it's getting a bit crazy. Um, it has its own individual instructions for that measurement. Similarly, you can scroll up and click instructions. If you click on instructions you'll be presented with a PDF that you can then save and download to your desktop and print out. This simply gives you a measurement guide for women's measurements. Um, it's very good for you to familiarize yourself with uh, this document. We give some helpful tips and hints when it comes to preparing your model and how to take measurements. Um, we always recommend that if you're measuring yourself you get someone else to do it for you because it'll be far more accurate than let's say, yeah, well, doing it yourself. So obviously you read through this information, print it out, you can put your name, standard size, and age in here, and you can also file this as well, so you can have a record of your measurements, um, or your customers' measurements going forward. So obviously these are all the measurements we use to create the blocks, and these are the instructions of how to take those measurements, and it's a good maybe seven or eight pages long. So obviously read through, take your time, um, familiarize yourself with the document, or get your friends to familiarize themselves with the document. And um, yeah, enjoy the process. And then once you have your measurements, uh, put them into the size chart so you're ready to enter them into the profile page. Uh, we always also recommend that you take your measurements three times and then take the average of those measurements to get a, a more accurate reading. So let's just simply go back to the profiles page. So. Just imagine that I've downloaded that instruction set. I have entered my measurements into it. I'm now going to take those measurements and input them into this area here. Now, as I said, we're only using the seven key measurements. Bust, waist, hips, back width, chest, nape to waist, waist to floor. So let me just enter these now. So I'm working with a UK standard size 10. But you can obviously use your own custom measurements. So 88 for bust, 72 for waist, hips are 96. Back width is 34.4, chest is 32.4, nape to sorry the nape to waist is 41, 
and the weight of 4 is 104. Okay, so once we've input these measurements, I'm simply going to either hit the enter key or click off. And this will then bring up our predicted measurements, which are all listed down the side here. Okay, So I can either accept all predicted values, which means I'm then ready to start drafting my block, or I can individually paste these in. You see? But for now, I'm just going to put accept all predicted values. And you get a little bit of a warning here, just to so you're absolutely sure. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so there are some measurements which haven't been input. That's not a problem. You can always go back and measure these yourself. So we have the neck, which on my chart is 28.4. And then the high ankle, which is, give me for one second, it is 21.4, or 21 centimeters. There we go. It's kind of given it to me already. Perfect. Ah, okay, see, look, this is, this is fantastic. We have an error here of 28.4 is less than the minimum permitted of 32 centimetres. So, this is either because I have measured incorrectly or because I've input this incorrectly. So, if you receive this error message, simply go back, look at your measurement sheet, check that the measurement's correct, and if it is, then go back and actually measure uh, the neck once more, or whatever measurement it might be, just to make sure it's absolutely correct. So let's put this in at 37.1. OK, so now we have all of our measurements we need to draft our basic blocks. And this is all based on the prediction system. Once again, um, blocks produced using this system are not accurate. They are, they are vague. Um, this is still a beta testing system. We're working on this. And obviously, the more measurements that we get, the better we can refine the system and the better uh, the better product we can provide. But if you want to have a go at this, please do. And give us your feedback. Please give us your feedback. So once we've entered these measurements using the predictive system, I'm then going to click draft block. Okay, and this takes us to the lab where we can then start to draft our blocks. However, once again, because this is a, uh, a profile tutorial, I'm going to delete these. And I'm going to create the most accurately fitting block using bespoke measurements. So it's going to go create new. I'm then going to type, let's say, uh, Susie Pink. And then centimeters, year of birth, 1983. And I'm going to click go once again. So we're simply going to enter these measurements. 88, 72, 96, 34.4, 32.4. Then we have 41. And waste of floor is 104. Once again, click off. It gives us the predicted values, but we're not going to use them because we're going to use our own bespoke measurements. So, waist to hip, 20.6. Then we have top hip, which is 82, 21, 12.3, 37, 28.4, 16, 24. 21, uh, 41, then we have 58.5. As I said, these are predicting it for me because I'm using a standard size chart here. 28, 58.5, and then 35.0 centimeters. Click off. So these are your accurate measurements that you've taken from your body. So this will give an accurately fitting block that should fit you accurately. Um, how else can I describe it? Um, the, the one issue is, is that obviously bodies do fluctuate and they do change from time to time. So if you are producing blocks and your measurements are about two weeks old, we really recommend that you just go back and check your measurements, maybe remeasure if possible, just to get the very best out of this system. So we've now shown you the three different ways that you can enter your measurements. And so now we can simply draft our block. And that's the end of this tutorial.